Hey, what up YouTube? It's Lopich here. You can see that. Yeah, it's the cup. See that? 2011-2012? Yes, Denny. Uh, we were talking about it, I think, last week. So I gave in and I bought a box. Uh, sorry, folks, I didn't break it live. I actually broke it at the shop. And, uh, as you can see, this is an empty box. Let's just see you guys show you guys what it looks like. Shinger. That's the uh the tin. The beautiful well tin of the cup. So yeah, I gave in and I actually broke a box of this. So just so you can see. Empty box liner. Da da da. So yeah. I broke a box of the cup. So I guess you're all wondering what I actually got out of the cup. Well, without further ado, let's see what I did actually get out of this box. So we go first. Uh, we've got a uh, Jeff Carter base to 249, and then we got um, Brent Connolly and Shrimans rookie on card auto to 50. Right there. Then we got ourselves a three color patch of Craig Smith for the Preds. Ricky Auto Patch to 249. Right there. Not bad, not bad. And then we got a rookie auto on card auto of Jimmy Hayes to 199 for the Blackhawks. And then we got ourselves a one-of-one -one printing plate rookie of Kevin Marshall for the Flyers. This is actually from Artifacts. Uh, printing plate from Artifacts. Kevin Marshall. And, last but not least, also got me one of these. Bing! Yeah, it's the limited logos patch, three colors, of Ryan Nugent Hopkins, the Nuge, out of my box, right there. A nice jumbo size three color patch with an on-card auto of Ryan Nugent Hopkins, right there. So that was pretty sick. So, yeah, I actually beat the odds in a weird way, because I actually only got one base card. And I actually got four autos in the box. And a plate. And the Nuge. Uh, for the win. So, it's been a while since I've actually broken a box of the cup. And, uh, I think I did alright. Oh, and I got a one quick package mail day here. Um, right here. I picked up a patch from Prime. And I'm not even going to show you the holder it came in because it's just disgusting. Uh, there was so many pews on the tape, it was just, it was horrid, and I'm really hoping that the guy was just a hairy, grizzly, armed person, and that's why there was hair stuck all over the tape that was sealing the uh, top loader. Um, but yeah, it was pretty freaking nasty, uh, and this is an R-rated show, so I'm not going to show it, because it's gross. Uh, personally, I don't want the dude's DNA, so I quickly chucked it. Anyway, without further ado, this is what I got. And uh, from my mail day, and it's actually from Prime, Panini Prime. Boom. Check out that patch. Is that a sick and disgusting patch or what? And that there is the 2011 um, Winter Classic patch um, off of Max Talbot when he was with the Pens. His last year was with the Pens, actually, uh, when they played the Winter Classic in Pittsburgh. And so now I just need the other half of it, and uh, it'll complete this patch, which is the bottom half right there, which is missing right there. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys that, because I know for some of you guys like JVB, Denny, and those guys, if you like patches, check out that patch. It's just filthy and disgusting. Sick. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching my recaps of the cup and my one package mail day without the peeps. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you all later. Oh, and Chris Justice, if you're ever watching my vids, I know you do. I put him in there because you keep blocking him off uh, with your wall 
B P O D. I'm just joking, Chris. Love you, man. Love your breaks, and uh, I just need to see Mr. Walken again. Talk to you later. Bye.